hello today i am making three different soaps now i apologize for looking pretty rough it's been a very rough week here um our son has been really really sick and i've had tons of doctor's appointments and now we found out we may have to go to mayo so we're trying to figure out how or if we can even get in um so i've been a little stressed but what happened was i started to make this soap these three soaps on tuesday no on wednesday and it's friday now and just as i got everything pulled out went down to my basement brought everything up to the kitchen got everything all out and ready to go my son comes up and says mom i found a car i was like what so then we had an hour drive to go look at this car because my husband had a hit and run and the guy totaled our vans and we haven't had a car for almost a month so anyway all this stuff has been sitting in my kitchen. I'm like, I'm doing it today. So I'm making a dog soap. I'm making lemon lavender and I am making moonlight path and I'm trying to use up some in beds and get some stuff used up. So that's what I'm making today. So let's get started. Okay. So since I had my lye water and everything all mixed up, what I did was I took in here and poured boiling water and I had my lye solution sitting in here to warm it back up to a hundred. So we'll get this out of the way. Then I warmed up my oils and got them up to a hundred. And so now we have them both up. I've never had to warm lye water before, but it went super, super quick. I just poured boiling water in that other one and it was not even five minutes. It was probably up there. So since I have, I'm making seven pounds of soap. And actually that's gonna to be too much soap because I miscalculated because I forgot for the second recipe, it's going to be um, embeds that I forgot to account for the weight of the embeds. So let me get this poured in. This is the worst bowl for pouring. I absolutely hate it. My friend Jamie over at Love You More Soaps went to Sam's and she got us some new um, new bowls that we're going to try similar to the one that Missouri River Soaps uses. She has some gorgeous soaps. Check her out if you like to watch soap making. She has some wonderful soap videos. Okay, so I have my oils in there. Now I have a whole bunch of lilac, and if you're wondering what lilac is, that is what it looks like. See that stuff floating on top? I honestly, I need to look that up. I don't know what causes it. I do know that if you stir your lye water continually until it's clear when you first pour it in, um, it's usually not a problem. Jamie said that, and um, Missouri River said the same thing. So, okay, so I'm going to rinse this out immediately so my family doesn't get into it accidentally. Okay, so now I'm going to stick blend it, but I'm only going to bring it to a very, very, very light trace because... I want, because I want um, to take my time in pouring these two soaps. So I've got my dog uh, soaps here. Now I made a batch last week and I accidentally had, okay, so sorry for the interruption. That was mom and she's at the thrift store and she found me a little mini silicone uh, cupcake mold. So yay, $2.98. I'm so happy. Okay, so I'm going to mix this and hopefully I rewashed my dog thing from my glitter spill and hopefully I think everything's clean. So here we go. <laughs> So if you can see, we're at emulsion, and now we're gonna go to trace. All right, 
and there we're at trace. Yay. Okay. Now, so first I'm going to take and put my dog soap, my soap in my dog, um, what do you call it? <laughs> my dog mold here. Get that done first. It's unscented. And I fill all my molds just below top because I have to move them because I don't have a soap room where I can just leave them sitting to um, sitting to let them get hard first. So I have to move them downstairs to my little soap closet that my wonderful husband made for me. And um, so I just don't fill them all the way to the top so that they don't spill all over. Okay, so number one is done. Yeah, just a tad more for this. Okay, there. Now I'm gonna tap this. Spray the top of your soaps with 91% rubbing alcohol, and that will help prevent soda ash. All right, so I am going to unmold my dog soap. I these I have a friend that refuses to use nothing but my dog soap for her dog. Her bulldog just loves it. He has really sensitive skin. This is unscented, uncolored, just really good oils for your skin and even your puppy dog skin. So this is my dog soap. Yay, they turned out so cute. These will be ready in about four to six weeks. I'm gonna let them cure. And you can find them on my website. Please like, share, comment, give me a great big thumbs up We'll see you guys later.